Hello friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at some examples of two dimensional figures. So here you see some geometrical shapes like rectangle, circle, triangle, pentagon, square and all of them are two dimensional. Why? Because if you place each of them on a sheet of paper, they lie along the plane of the paper. So if you talk about a rectangle, you are only bothered about the two sides of the rectangle. Right, that is the length and the breadth. You talk about a square again, you are only dealing with two axes one is along this x side, and the other is along this side. Now, you might ask that okay, in case of a square, all the sides are of equal length, so I only need to determine the length of one side. So, does that mean that square is a one dimensional figure? Not really. That's because when we talk about 2D or 3D, we talk about the fact that how how many axes are we working with in order to describe that particular figure. So when you talk about a square, even though the length of all the sides are equal, but you need an x axis because some of your sides are running along this direction. You also need a y axis because some of your sides are also running along this direction. So you basically need two axes. So you can describe a square in a sheet of paper and that is why it is a two dimensional figure. The same is true for a circle, triangle and pentagon. So even though you have five sides in a pentagon, but you really do not need different different axes for each side. So if you have one x axis and y one y axis, so the remaining sides can be obtained from at some angle between these two axes. So that is all of these are examples of two dimensional figures. Now you might be wondering then what are the examples of 3D figures? So these are some of the examples of 3D figures. Now by looking at these itself, you must be getting an idea that how are these different from the 2D figures. So when you think of a sphere, just think of a ball. So when you place a ball on a sheet of paper, does the ball lie along the sheet of the paper? No, the ball appears to be protruding out of the plane of the paper. That is because of that extra third dimension. Similarly, when you place a cone, uh, you can think of your ice cream cone. So when you place that cone on a sheet of paper, it doesn't lie along the plane of the paper. This also protrudes out of the paper. Think of a cube for which you can consider the dice or which you use in your Ludo. So that is an example of a cube. Think of a cuboid. Maybe you can consider a matchbox. So all of these are examples of 3D figures because they need three dimensions. So you actually need a length, a breadth and a height. So basically here you deal with three axes, X, Y and Z. So these are all examples of 3D figures. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.